I was filled with inspiration the second I seen this rustic pumpkin on Pinterest. So I grabbed this cabinet that I picked up at the resort for just $2. I thought this would be perfect. And I grabbed a paint stick. We'll need a paint stick. Well, not the whole paint stick. We'll need to bring on in the miter shears to just kind of, you know, nip that wonky edge right on off the painter stick because we're not going to need that we're just gonna need this straight end right here since my piece is inspired we're gonna be creating a scarecrow and i'm gonna use these two colors right here to get my base for the scarecrow's face look i'm rapping and rhyming over here anyhow moving on for the hat portion i want to decoupage it so i'm gonna use this multi-surface for a base and then i'm gonna let everything dry For the decoupage portion, I'm going to be using some TDS rice paper. This is A4 in size, and I'm going to call on some good old Mod Podge as our decoupage medium. Now, feel free to use whatever rice paper, whatever medium you would like. This is just what I'm going with for my inspired piece. Taking my little water bottle and giving a little spritzy spritz on the back. This just really helps to be able to manipulate the paper, minimize wrinkles. And then I'm just really going around the edge with some more of that medium, trimming off everything and making sure it's all in the right spots. I want to keep that rustic feel. So I'm grabbing my antique Waverly wax and the baby wipe and putting two layers right on this paint stick. And then I went over the decoupage portion. This was dry. <laughs> I did make sure it was dry and put a nice layer over that. Once that was dry, I grabbed my tight bond wood glue and I applied our little paint stick, also using a little bit of hot glue. Our Pinterest piece had this little raven just propped up on the top of the hat. So I wanted to incorporate that into my inspired piece. And I grabbed this little mushroom I had from a pack I had picked up at Hobby Lobby a couple weeks back. I just trimmed this out in a few colors to keep that neutral rustic look carried out through the piece. People, I struggle with bows on a normal, but when I seen the messy bow on top of this one with the little button, I was like, I got this. <laughs> I am capable of making messy bows. Plus, I have this awesome stash that was sent to me by a subscriber some time ago of amazing little fabric scraps. So I just grabbed one in there and started gluing things down. I did take our little mushroom and prop it up where I wanted it. Didn't glue it down just yet. I waited until I was done making the messy bow just to kind of measure everything out, get a feel for it. And I used tacky glue to apply all my fabric pieces right on top of each other. It's been my experience that tacky glue works extremely well whenever I'm using fabric and applying it to wood. I always get nervous whenever I gotta make a face of any kind. So I like to sketch that out before I start painting. And if you're anything like me and you never know what kind of face you wanna put on something, just Google it. Google like scarecrow or pumpkin faces or whatever, and then pick one and like make your little tweaks to it to make it your own. Once I had the sketch down, I just grabbed my paint colors and I painted everything in. I decided that I wanted to put some lashes on the side of my scarecrow's eyes. This piece turned out so amazing. I absolutely love it just as much as I love the original. Such a cool way to upcycle some cabinet doors. How simple and elegant is this glass fall piece I found on Pinterest? I love how the twine just adds a little something to the glass. I want to use some of my thrifted pieces, some of my Dollar Tree pieces, and some of my upcycled pieces to take this one idea and create an awesome cohesive collection using some twine. And not only do I want to share how we can take different bottles from thrift stores, from our upcycled stash, from Dollar Tree, and use some twine 
to tie them all together to make a bunch of decor. I want to also show you how you can reuse these even after we DIY them simply by not gluing anything onto your glass. First, just tie a knot like this with your twine and then hold it in place and start wrapping. Wrap whatever design or whatever way and in whatever spot you would like on your glass pieces. When you get to the end, you're gonna take your hot glue and you're gonna apply it onto the twine, not onto the glass. And this includes if you're adding fabric, if you're adding burlap, if you're adding florals, just glue it onto the twine. You can even nestle your floral pieces like I am here underneath of your twine and wrap it in and then glue it. This way, as the seasons go on throughout the year or your style changes, you get tired of looking at these, grab them suckers from wherever you got them around your house and just cut the twine off. Then you have fresh, blank glass pieces you didn't have to spend any more money on or any more time scrubbing food pieces you decided to upcycle and just put new crafty ideas onto pieces you already had. Even if you want to use some fabric, you do not have to attach it to the glass. You just wrap it nice and snugly around the glass, make sure it is tight, then take a little bit of that glue, put it on the fabric itself, press it down until you notice that it is attached, and then grab some of that twine, tie a little knot just like we did with the other ones, and then repeat the process. You'll be able to remove this just like you are with out the fabric and then once you have your fabric one here your twine one here you can take any accents any floral pieces you would like and just attach everything to your twine i love how one pinterest inspired piece can create so many different ideas How adorable is this tiny wood scarecrow I found on Pinterest? We're going to recreate our own version, just a little bit bigger. I got some scrap wood pieces. One's a little piece of trim. I got this piece from Dollar Tree. I think it's MDF. I don't really think it's a piece of wood, but we're going to paint them one up using pretty much the same color palette as our Pinterest piece. Absolutely use whatever color choices work best for you. I really like the color choices that were already on this scarecrow. I did decide to sand down the head portion and the body portion. And if the booty portion was wood, I would have did that too, but I just, I left that as it was. I picked up these little scarecrow hats at the beginning of the season from Dollar Tree. I figured these would be just perfect for this project. Now I did sketch these eyes out. It's hard to see, even though I'm like tracing them <laughs> with this black permanent marker and coloring them in. And yeah, it's still, <laughs> I'm staring at it like, I don't know what to do with this. I don't like these eyes. They're creepy. I carried on just making like a squiggly smile and figure at some point I'll, I'll fix the eyes. So moving on, you know, as crafters and DIYers do, I'll grab my orange paint and I started painting the nose on. Like all this little carrots turning out so cute. Just, you know, filling it all in, giving it some shape, you know, giving it some character. And then I'm like, you know, I don't really remember this looking like a snowman's face. I just looked at the picture and the nose is like a candy corn. <laughs> Lucky for me, I had some baby wipes and we can just wash it right off. Listen. Sometimes my brain just does whatever it wants, okay? It don't care what Pinterest piece I'm trying to do. When I was done with the face, I grabbed some TDS transfers and cut out the little fall piece and one of the little pumpkins. I wanted to just put this right on down on the bootay portion of our scarecrow.
on the chest portion of the Pinterest piece, there was like a little patch on there with some burlap. So I cut out a little square and a little piece of fabric and attached one. I glued down our hat with some wood glue and some hot glue and then used the same to attach all the pieces together. And this turned out so amazing. I'm always amazed at how a Pinterest piece can inspire you to create something that's not exactly like what you see. For example, they gave me an idea for these cool new Dollar Tree ceramic pieces. And people, did you know these little tea light pieces from Dollar Tree fit perfectly right in the top? Now check this out. All we're going to do is pick a paint color and paint these suckers up. I went with green because I feel like it goes with fall. I feel like it goes with Christmas. And I feel like it kind of goes with everyday decor. Let that dry. You can put a sealer over it if you want. And there are so many different ways you can remix this idea, starting with this one. Just add some tea lights. You can pop some regular candles in here. Completely up to you. For this next one, you can switch up the type of candle that you want to put in there and add some raffia in there with some florals. You can keep it super simple with just tying a little bit of rope twine around your piece or get a little bit extra, pop in a piece of floral foam and put in some of your favorite seasonal accents. If you enjoyed this video, people, check out this Pinterest video right here for more inspiration. As always, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today and until next time.